Welcome Brainers! In this video, we're gonna show you the best ways to update Windows drivers. As part of this we'll also introduce some of the top free driver update utilities. When there are driver problems, you'll mostly notice yellow exclamation in Device Manager. You may also notice unknown devices. In some rare cases all shown good here, but the particular device may not work as expected. Here we're to address all such issues. Without further ado let's get started. Method 1. Windows Update. Please search and open Windows Updates and ensure your Windows is up to date. Tab on Update History and Driver Updates. This is the list of drivers automatically installed on my computer as part of Windows Updates. Please go back and choose Advanced Options. Select Optional Updates. Here you get your optional driver updates. You can choose all or select only the drivers related to your problematic device. Down below here please tap on Download and Install. Method 2. Manufacturer's Website. I know most of us prefer a utility for driver updates, which I'll show it in subsequent methods, but please keep in mind if drivers are easily available at manufacturer's website, then this is indeed a good deal. I've given some of the most common manufacturer's driver update links in the video description. You can also do a simple Google search to get into appropriate manufacturer's website. Please follow the instructions at the website to complete the driver installation. Method 3. Driver Booster. This is by far the easiest free driver update app available. But you should carefully deselect unwanted apps while installation. I've given this download link in description. Please be little mindful and precisely download the free version, especially not the trial one. Go ahead and run the downloaded file. Tap on Install. Here you go, this is an extra software prompt. Please select No and tap on Next. Once again, a prompt for extra feature, please select No. Let's run the scan. Please note, with the free version you can only install the drivers one by one. My suggestion is, please use method 1 as your primary driver update method. And use driver booster or any one of the upcoming driver apps for the specific devices having problems, or for the devices for which drivers are not available through Windows Update. Please select the specific driver that you want to install, and tap on update over here. Please follow the on-screen instructions. Driver has been updated successfully. Now you can choose the next driver and update. Method 4. Driver Easy. I've given the download link in the description. Please download and install. Please go ahead and scan your PC. Please note, with the free version you can only install the drivers one by one. So please deselect all, and select only one driver that you are looking for. Click on corresponding update button. Please exactly follow my on-screen instructions to download the driver files. This is expected to go slow, so please be patient. You'll see a folder opening up automatically, please copy this folder path, we will need it later. Right-click on Start and go to Device Manager. Locate your problem driver. Right-click and choose Update Driver. Go ahead with Browse My Computer for Drivers. 
Paste the path that we copied earlier. Ensure this checkbox is enabled. Please tap on Next. The driver has been updated successfully. Method 5. Snappy Driver. Please download the zip file from the link given in the description and extract the contents. This is portable app and does not require installation, so please execute the corresponding EXE directly. You get three options, first two options are suitable for IT service engineers, who may want to download driver for all type of devices, from all manufacturers and use it on different customer PCs. So as a general user you should go ahead with third option. Now please wait for some time and allow indexes to get downloaded. Please select click here to start download. And under this selection, tap on this PC only. Click on OK to start the download process. This is expected to go slow, so please be patient. Once you get this screen, please select all or specific drivers and choose install over here. The driver has been updated successfully. I hope it was helpful. Please do like the video and subscribe to our channel. If you've any questions or thoughts, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another useful video.